Happy days to all those that we love. Happy days to all those that love us. Happy days to all those that love them and love those that love them and love those that love us. Happy days to all those that we love. Happy days to all those that love us. Happy days to all those that love them, that love those that love them, that love those that love us. Hello everyone, this is Adam Peterson. I'm the choral music teacher here at the Cincinnati Waldorf School. I've been here since 2012, and I want to warmly welcome all of you back to school. Happy days. Hi, welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hi, my name is Susan Gray, and I'm the administrative director here at the Cincinnati Waldorf School, and I wanna say welcome back for another great year. Hello, my name is Janelle Johnson and I'm the director of the Cincinnati Waldorf High School and I just wanna say welcome back everyone. We're thrilled to start this new year with each of you. Hi, I'm Beth McDaniel. I'm the community development director here at the school and I'm pleased to introduce to you Dexter Simpson, our new facilities manager. So today we're excited to tell you about some work that is underway to make our school building safer and more secure for our students and faculty. So back in November of last year, Governor Mike DeWine announced that schools in 57 counties would be receiving $100 million in grant funding for safety upgrades. And we are very proud to say that of more than 2,000 schools that applied for that funding, CWS was one of just over 700 to receive a grant. And these grants can be used for security upgrades for things like PA systems, video surveillance, locking mechanisms, exterior security. Since November of last year, a specially appointed committee has been working hard to get this work under contract that we applied for in our application. And now that we're closer to this work being actually in the works, um, Dexter is going to share the specific projects that will be underway. I'm so excited to talk about uh, the safety grant and the work that's being done here at our school, partly because it strikes a great balance between who we already are as a school being welcoming and open, um, but also allows us to be uh, more secure as a building and a facility. One of those ways in which we're going to be more secure is by doing some interior work and changing some of the, the locks and the mechanisms with our interior doors. The second key component, pun intended, is that we get to replace all of the exterior mechanisms, locking mechanisms as well. What that includes is a magnetic lock that is going to be much more secure uh, than what we currently have with keys and with that will be key cards so that we can maintain and uh, be aware of who's entering and exiting the building at all times. But it also enables us in the future as this new um, components are being added to have cameras around all the exterior doors so that we can see and monitor those who are entering and exiting the building at all times, especially our front door which will have a fisheye camera so we can see the whole wide view of who's entering and, and exiting at all times of the day. So as many of you know, we have a number of windows around the school that still need to be replaced, including the ones behind me. These windows need to be replaced for a variety of reasons, including energy efficiency, but also safety. And as some of you know, we've been fundraising to raise the money to replace the windows. Big thank you to everyone who supported the window fund at this past spring benefit. That was really appreciated. Um, but the safety grant is also going to contribute some money to replacing the windows and adding an extra element of security. Hi, I'm Jeff Brandt. I'm the president of the Cincinnati Waldorf Board of Trustees. I've been a part of the community since 2011, 2012, when my two children started here at Waldorf uh, when the school was on the west side of town. 
Our current strategic plan includes creating the best possible environment for our students. And in Waldorf, that means a woodland area or a woodland campus. Having a woodland campus was one of the reasons we brought our children here more than 10 years ago. And I feel that it's important for our community to move back toward that. Hi, I'm Carmi Malora, and I am the Woodland Preschool teacher at the Cincinnati Waldorf School. I've been teaching here for over 30 years. Several years ago, we had a lovely property called Mishiwa that was in Indian Hill, and we had a satellite school there, preschool, and Miss Kyle's Nature Tots was there, and it was a lovely opportunity that um, I will never forget when it was first being spoken about that we were looking to have a forest kindergarten type preschool. I said, pick me, please, I would love to do this. And it was absolutely a dream come true for me as a teacher and for those lucky students who were able to participate in that program. And one of the things that was absolutely the most wonderful about it was the spontaneity that we were able to have and discovering the path that we walked every day and then, but today there was a turtle and uh, the next day there would be a, a little ephemeral pond with frogs in it. One of the memories I have was coming back from a hike and it had started to snow and the temperature had dropped and it was a really icy snow just blowing in our faces and I thought, ooh, maybe I really overdid it this time. And I turned around and the whole class were on their backs making snow angels and I was like, we're good, we're good. My name is Kyle Arthur known as Miss Kyle, and I am the parent and child teacher of the Nature Tots, and then I'm also Mrs. Arthur for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade handwork. So, looking back to my time um, at Mishiwa, I hold a very special place in my heart for it, because Nature Tots actually was born there. We had parents and parents and tots, and uh, at that point when we first went out, when I went out, Nature Tots came into bloom. For the community also, I remember when we would have uh, festivals. Uh, we had a fairy festival, we had a, an October festival. We were able to have the early childhood one year do their lantern walk there and walk in the trees. I also fondly remember when we had our gala out in that space. Having a woodland campus was one of the reasons we brought our children here more than 10 years ago. And I think it's the direction that we as a school need to get back to. And that's why I'd like to announce on behalf of the board that the school is actively looking for a new Woodland campus. And I look forward to sharing more news when we have it. As a Walter School, it is always a priority that we build a strong school community. We've always been that way and uh, this year is no different. As we kick off the school year, we are gonna be focusing on the joy of our community. There is a lot of joy here in all of you, in all of our students, and in, in our faculty as well. And so uh, we're gonna really live in that this year. And I'm really excited for this upcoming year. We're in our sixth year of existence. It's gonna be a great year, and I'm just full of warmth and excitement. I'm so excited about everything we have planned for the year, and the first big event is back to school night. It's back, it's bigger and better than ever. So while this will be an informative evening, and we'll start with the singing everyone loves and some important information, a chance to visit your classroom, sample school lunch, meet with the aftercare team, and then we'll all head outside for dinner and socializing. So we hope to see you at Back to School Night, Sunday, August 20th, from 5 to 8 p.m. Shall be known by the company we keep, by the ones who circle round.